What's up, Orca Mains? So, <laughs> hope you're all doing well today. Be sure to like, subscribe, check out my Discord, and check out my Patreon. Support me there. You might be wondering, why am I a dying seal in the middle of the ocean? Um, because I was coming over here to evolve. You might be wondering, okay, well, uh, what were you going to evolve into? I'm going to become a beaked whale. That's right. Uh, I did show it as well on the third video. So I wanted to do another beaked whale video just so we can kind of ingrain that, show you what it's like. And that's kind of the whole idea with that. So let's go ahead and become a beaked whale. Uh, I just wanted to show a little bit better about how it works and everything. So allow me to go down the path. It starts with a uh, narwhal. You have to be a narwhal, basically. It's So narwhal leads to both catch and the beaked whale. So be sure to go down that path when you are looking for the beaked whale. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and head down that path. We have narwhal. 750 health and 140 ar uh, not armor, but it has no armor, <laughs> but you know, 140 damage and then 90 speed. I forgot this was a 90 speed animal. I thought it was faster, but apparently not. I, <laughs> the more you know, it's, it's always been this low, I guess. Anyway, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and become the Culver's Beaked Whale, which is actually almost the same stats. Um, except it just has an extra uh, 150 health and then it has an extra 10 speed, basically. But it also has bubbles, and those bubbles add for some interesting mechanics and gameplay. So, with that said, let's go and try this beaked whale out a little bit. So, you guys already know that this thing can bounce bubbles off of walls, and it can stick onto people like a sticky bomb, basically. Um, it doesn't stick onto land. Imagine if it did. <laughs> That'd be funny. But... Uh, it can keep on bouncing for a long time, I'd say. So let me go ahead and just try bouncing it into this cave here. See where it goes. It goes through me. <laughs> um, oh, it goes through me. Wait a second. Wait. It goes through me. Wait. He already added it? Oh my god. Okay, well, um, everybody, I, I'm sorry I didn't share with this with you guys earlier, but uh, recently the <laughs> the beaked whale has lost its ability to self-attach. So basically, you can't do 900 damage in one shot anymore. You could do 140 damage if you attach all three bubbles onto somebody, but you cannot do that. Uh, very high amount of damage anymore, that 900. So, what does that mean? It's definitely been nerfed. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, that's fun. So, basically, we're gonna just try playing the nerfed version of it now. So, what I was doing before was basically just the a very OP Culver Speak well, but even then it wasn't the most OP, I wouldn't say. It was a... It was pretty powerful, you know, I'd say it was up there with Mega Mouth and Halibut, but it wasn't the, the the one defining most powerful thing. It was definitely OP, though, but, <laughs> jeez, okay, so that's good to know. So he removed self-attach, everybody, just remember that. So what does that mean? I don't know if that means you can attach onto teammates on TFA or not. Uh, you could still, I'm sure they still get stunned for a little bit, a small second there. Uh, and you could take their meat and kill them, but, wow, that is, like, crazy. <laughs> That's actually insane, though. I can't imagine, like, I don't think I can play this thing, man. <laughs> I mean, unless this thing, you know, I could still attach, like, a bunch of bubbles to these, um, uh, these lampreys or just anything, like, to do sticky bombs. Otherwise, I don't think I'd be using this. Like, I thought this might be an interesting thing to main if it was ungrabbable, but now it's even more uh, more unappealing at this point for me. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Say Beaked Whale in the comments if you've gone this far in the video. But this is just strange, man. I don't get it. <laughs> it's just so weird to not be able to self-attach. I mean, you can attach bubbles to the front of this guy. He paused for just a small second there, but... Yeah, I mean, this thing can... <laughs> this thing was able to wreck, man. I swear. So, I don't know. I 
at this point, guys, I don't think I'd main it. Even though it can live in every biome except for Swamp. Let's let's talk about that for a second. It's specs. Uh, it has no temperature, has no pressure time. So, obviously, it can live in the three biomes pretty fine. It can also live in a reef, obviously. Uh, its salinity is 20 seconds. So, those specs are pretty different. Its size is times two, apparently. So, this would be considered times two. Um, and then the health is uh, 900, okay? So... There's that. The speed is just your regular 100. Unless you hit something, then you get a 25% speed boost, essentially. Um, this isn't that bad of an animal to fight against, like, regular whale. Also, it goes through AI. The bubbles go through these uh, sardine AIs, the regular little fish AIs here. So just remember that as you're playing something like this. All right. So let's keep on moving and move around, find something to kill. Maybe I'll try the Humboldts. Maybe that'll be good. But the self-attach really does change the game, guys. Like, I'm not even kidding. Let's see, can it attach to this guy? Yes, it can. Okay. So it can't really attach to the smaller AI, but it can attach to these playable AIs, basically. That's what I can tell from this. Um, again, that plus 25% speed is good. Um, it's good to chase down. You could just keep on bubbling somebody repeatedly. Uh, and again, these bubbles are fast. They can attach pretty quickly. Way faster than the JSC uh, grapple. It's way faster than that for sure. So just kind of remember that. And let's keep on moving around. I'm wondering if open beta is going to come out like really, really soon or not. Because I've been making this backlog of videos for for all of today basically. <laughs> so I'm wondering like, is it going to come out when I'm on vacation or... What's going to happen exactly? But don't worry, guys. Every day I'm still going to have a video out. It just won't be in the open beta if it releases before I get back from vacation. So just think about that. <laughs> but yeah, here we are just trying this out. I might just go ahead and do a three bubble on this guy. See what happens. Boop. Yeah, basically almost kills him. <laughs> so, I mean, that part is good. It can win a face tank with an orca at this rate, I believe. Um, because when that stun happens, it will be able to get extra hits in. And especially if you use one bubble at a time, it can get some a lot of extra hits in. It would be not too bad for that. So, yeah, it's it's good for hit and running, I'd say. I think that's its main application, hit and run tactics. So if I just go and use two here. Uh, I didn't even have to use a third, but I could have if it had more health. And that's why Humboldt's the worst one. <laughs> I'm sorry, Humboldt is the worst one, though. It's the worst tier 9. I, I think they definitely should buff it, though, in some way. Like, they gotta just find some way to buff it properly. Maybe make it more like Piranhas or something. That would not be a bad idea. Like, where you can control all three kind of in the same way instead of having the AI following you do it do its own thing, kind of, and not keep following whoever you're trying to kill. Like, I just want to be able to use all three of them, right? I think that'd be a lot better. But, or, you know, if you kill one, then it should be able to switch to another one, right? Something like that. Just some kind of piranha logic would be nice uh, in order to avoid that kind of situation. Like, if, if Eddie could just add that, I think that'd be a nice buff to uh, the Humboldt's, okay? So, that's all I'm kind of thinking on that. I'm trying to think of other strategies you can do. You can just sprint like this. Um, of course, it can lunge with a click boost. You can just hop across the sky with that, so you can definitely air boost. Uh, charging it halfway allows for the AoE effect, Ch charging it all the way allows for the bubble to uh, start moving around. I'm going to try doing this with a bubble, and then I'm going to blow it up. And it does blow up. So if you happen to <laughs> use the AoE effect after you're shooting a bubble, it can possibly stun somebody. It's possible. Okay, well, I, I was trying to do it with that fish, but obviously that's, like, really difficult. Let me know if you guys can do it. <laughs> Just... Literally, as the bubble's moving, you just stun somebody because it passes right by them or something. Because <laughs> that bubble's quick, guys. I don't think you'd be able to keep up with that. But anyway, I think that's pretty much all I have to demonstrate, guys. Thank you so much for watching the whole video, supporting me. Uh, and I will keep supporting you guys with more of these uploads of da uh, Beta Daily, okay? So be sure to subscribe, like the video, uh, maybe share with some friends or something. Uh, join my Discord server in the description below. Check out my Patreon. And that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for coming to this video. This is the Beaked Whale. 
and we are signing off. Goodbye.